Hello, I'm Amy Kokenauer, the Reference Librarian here at SPSU. This video should be short and sweet. I just wanted to review a few things before getting you started on your scavenger hunt. First, let's leave the Georgia View Vista site and head back over to the main SPSU page. For those of you who've never visited the library site yet, just go to Quick Links and choose Library. Scroll down and look at the library's Quick Links section. You'll want to pay more attention to this as you answer the posts in the research library threads. For now, I'm going to give a quick overview of the Gilfine catalog, that's our local catalog, and how it interacts with our ebooks collection and Gil Universal, which collects the catalogs for all of the libraries in the University System of Georgia. Let's say I'm interested in learning about Google. I'm going to do a really simple search this time. You should be doing more complicated searches in your research, but this will let you see how the system works. Let's say I'm interested in the history of Google, so I decide to look at the Google story. And after reviewing this book and looking at the subjects, I decide this is interesting for me. But I've got a problem. I'm not in Marietta. I'm in Savannah, let's say. So I look at the Gill Universal Catalog. That will let me know if any of the USG institutions have it near me. In this case, they don't. It's available at Georgia Tech or SPSU. So for this case, Gill Universal was not very helpful. But I've got another option. I can also check WorldCat. WorldCat looks at catalogs from libraries all around the world, so I've got more options here. I change my location from the Marietta zip code to Savannah. I don't want Savannah, New York. I want Savannah, Georgia. And there we go. It's at Live Oak Public Libraries. So that's another option to look for books is to go and find it in the local catalog and then see where it is for you in your actual area for where you live. One thing I want to point out about the search results that you'll get from Guildfind, it won't just give you physical books, it will also give you electronic books. You'll see that they, these say that they're located ebooks on EBSCOhost. So pay attention to that. Some of them may still say Net Library. EBSCOhost recently purchased Net Library and the migration is still happening. So we're trying to update all of our systems as quickly as we can. So you may still see some references to Net Library that is the same thing as ebooks on EBSCOhost. In order to access the electronic books through Gilfind when you're off campus, you'll need to be logged in to Hornet Connect. We have a link to that called Remote Login over here on our Quick Link section on our webpage. Just click on that link, log in to Hornet Connect, and then get into the catalog, and you'll be able to access it that way. If you have any questions about Hornet Connect, I'm going to show you a place where you can find your answers here in just a bit. Before that, however, I want to show you a few things about Galileo, which is our database aggregator. First of all, never, ever, ever use the federated search. For one thing, it only searches two databases by default. It's also a little clunky, so we just don't recommend it, period. Instead, we have a lot of people who like to browse by subject, so that's another option. Or if you know the name of the database that you want, you can go to databases A to Z, click on J, and find JSTOR, for example. Or if you know the name of the journal, you can search for the journal name or the citation. So that's another way of finding your articles. Something else I want to show that the library now has is our LibGuide system. We just now got this. It's pretty new. And because of that, we only have a few guides so far. They're by subject. Your class has one that was specifically created for you and look at all of these tabs and find out what kind of information would be useful. We have a distance access tab. On that tab, you'll find a video created by Aaron Weimer, who is our head of reference, that talks about how to create your library account online and how to use Hornet Connect. If you prefer having visuals such as screenshots, you can click on the sub tab for Hornet Connect and you'll have that option there as well. The LibGuide system is also connected to our LibAnswer system, and that's where you'll find frequently asked, asked questions with their answers. I'll be honest, a lot of these are on-campus student related, but we do have some for off-campus students. This is also a place where you can send us a question via email. You just fill out your question, add your email, submit the form, and that will be emailed to all of the reference librarians. So if you forget who I am next semester, you can still ask me a question this way without having to hunt through the staff directory. Now, I know this was just a quick introduction without much detail, and that was intentional. I created a scavenger hunt for you to explore these catalogs and databases more thoroughly. To get started, simply click over here.